In its basement archives, the Center for Military History in Washington, D.C., stores many Nazi paintings too controversial for public exhibition. Among them are early watercolors by Adolf Hitler. He was a mediocre painter, not terrible, uh, but clearly not gifted. Um, he thought himself gifted, though. He certainly thought himself able enough to have been admitted to the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna, and he took it as a real rejection. Um, many of the jurors at the Academy were Jewish, and I suspect that this fueled his anti-Semitism. Generally, he hated what was going on in modern art as a would-be artist himself. There were Jewish artists around, heaven's sakes. Not only that, some of those figures looked like they were wild black Negroes from Africa. How come people like Nold and Kandinsky can be shown and all this to do about them and they don't let me shine as an artist? It must have riled him. Over the next 20 years, as Hitler created the Nazi party and rose to power, art continued to obsess him and became part of his political agenda. By the early 1930s, he was in a position to force his artistic tastes on Germany. He believed that artists who produce modern art could not see colors as they appeared in nature, they could not see forms as they actually were, and that this was a sign of racial inferiority. You Germans shouldn't see that. It will foul your mind. It will stain your whole life if you do that. So we get rid of it. In a 1937 speech, Hitler shouted, we will from now on lead an unrelenting war of purification, an unrelenting war of extermination against the last forces which have displaced our art.